climate emergency mm -hmm. and uh, science is telling us very clearly that we have very little time before tipping points start to happen and we lose total control on, uh, on the climate and, and its impact on the planet. We still have a little bit of time but that means all hands on board we absolutely need to get our governments, our institutions, uh, our companies, private companies, mm -hmm. to realize what predicament we are in and take all actions necessary. I want to see a Clean Energy Jobs Act, seeing that implemented with, ju with just transition. And also just as America t tends to be the leader when it comes to policy issues in globally, so having, having uh, us as a country take big, strong actions like other countries in Europe are, that would be amazing. And I hope to see that in 2020. What do you think are the prospects ahead? Well, it's really hard to say. You know, at this point, uh, we're not doing very good. Apparently, we've, we've been putting more carbon dioxide in the, in, in the air than, than before. I mean, which side are you on now? Which side are you on? Which side are you on now? Which side are you on? Does it weigh on you?
our leaders to confront the reality of climate change and the threat it poses, and we have made a difference. More than anything, we will keep pushing and we will not back down until we get climate justice and we get things like a climate emergency declaration, CEJA, and a Green New Deal. We can't allow this to happen. We can't give up and let our planet burn. In 10 years, I will only be 23. I want to be able to live my life as an adult without worrying about severe climate events. I don't want to be an adult and have to watch Lake Michigan flood my city. So are we! So are we! The oceans are rising! And 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 so are we! The oceans are rising! Taste the crisp water that greets you here and find gratitude for this moment. Breathe deep. Raise your face to the sun, feel the warmth kiss your cheeks, and dwell in the presence of life which surrounds you. That energy you feel, that's love. This is why we're here today. <laughs> Solidarity is critical in this fight. We do not win until we all win. Indigenous communities and communities of color have been on the front lines of this fight for justice, equity, dignity, and anti-colonialism and anti-capitalism for 500 years. At this moment, when our planet is at the boiling point, we must all stand shoulder to shoulder, uplift their communal wisdom, and intentionally support these communities so that they can lead the way forward to a just future. No justice, no peace. No, no justice, justice, no peace, no justice. We like to see you fund climate justice and violence prevention for the better of all of us. I live in a community where pollution hits us the hardest. Most of us live in a minority community, minority neighborhoods where we have the greatest exposure to toxic air pollution and other numerous environmental health hazards. Stop building scrap yards, distribution warehouses, and other polluting businesses in our minority communities with our black and brown people. Lincoln Park and Northside neighborhoods get condos and high-end amenities while we get health problems. We want a conversation on pollution and its health and environmental impacts now. I, this is your future too and I, we hope to see you out here. How many more times do you think you guys are going to have to be out here? Until there's as, as long as it change. takes. Yeah. yeah, as long as it takes. Until see just passed, until the Green New Deal is passed, until we see mass change. we got 11 years. <laughs>